Good evening, you wonderful people. Still getting everything set up. There we go. Perfect. Last mission. Let's do it. Let's get her done. I have enjoyed the game. It has overstayed its welcome a little bit because, uh, you know, over a certain amount of time, the cracks in the in the foundation start to show, and they're there for sure. Um, but it's still very fun, and I enjoy it a lot. And the mission where I got to fly this bitch around was awesome. Oh shit! Got the nuke! Very excited to play with a nuclear bomb. Boring cutscenes are boring. The cutscenes were way better earlier on in this game. They must have run out of time or budget or something. <laughs> because there is a gradual decline in the interesti interestingness of the cutscenes. And this is like... This should be really fucking cool. Ship in 200 kilometers. Once we get on board, we'll find the bridge. He's on the move again. The fighter's shields aren't rated for slip space. No. But the didacs are. Oh, okay. Let's get real close to it, I guess. Use their shields. That's the idea. Like, this doesn't even look good. <laughs> I don't know. Feels like I'm playing a different game than I was earlier. Broadsword's hull integrity is stable. We'll be safe as long as we stay below the didact shields. Didn't I already play this part? Close. What mission are we on? Midnight. That's the last mission, right? I just feel like I did this already. It's a bank. I already did this! What the hell? What's going on? What's going on? What? Well... Within slip space, the Master Chief hunts the Composer along the whole- Okay, I did that already. Master Chief and an increasingly unstable Cortana infiltrate the Didact ship as he prepares to use the Composer against Earth. I did that already too, so I'm guess I'm like right at the end. I'll start off here just to be safe, because I don't want to miss anything. Okay, let's see here. Are we did I select that properly? Rally point Bravo. Okay, accept options. Normal. Yeah, I do, I want all that to be the same. Hopefully, I did that right. <sighs> yeah, and I definitely remember fighting in here too. We'll have to deploy the warhead manually. How and where? I always know what to do. I always know what to do. Keep scanning for the composer. We'll figure it out on the way. Yeah, I've been here. Out of ammo, cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm at the next checkpoint. That's where I left off. <sighs> and I have no desire to repeat this stuff. Like the... I mean, parts of it are really cool, but there's parts of it that are very tedious at this point. They weren't tedious before, those same parts. But they've just repeated themselves a lot. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this bitch ends. And I'm not sure about Spartan Ops. Let's see how that goes. This seems about right. How do we get over there? Can barely. Ended up yes, this is where we left off. Right. Yes. I did this, but like, this is all I did. I did some fighting up here, though. So there'll be some repeat. I guess I was right at the very end when I quit before. Significant slip space event building under the composer. He's powering it up. So I'm sure we're going to defeat the didact and all that, but are we gonna tie up all these other plot points? I feel like there's no time. Probably not. <laughs> All this auto sentry. What I got? I got a shield. That's probably I don't know. I never use the shield. It kind of sucks. Oh, what's this? Promethean vision. That's helpful. Auto sentry. I'll grab that. It's not very good either. The didact shielded himself inside the composer. The nuke won't do us any good unless we can disable that barrier. Find me a terminal. Hey look, I found a terminal. Every time she asks for one, it just like pops up. <laughs> I've got to do something you're not going to like. Dude, I already did this. I'm so frustrated. This part's like kind of hard. Alright. What did you just do? I ejected my rampant personality spikes into the system. If I do that at each of those beams, the copies can overwhelm the composer's shield. Get ready! Definitely easier the second time through. Unsurprisingly, I suppose. Look at me. I can't shoot you in the head if you don't look at me. Sometimes it takes a lot to kill those. Other times it's very easy, it seems. I guess I could use this scatter shot. This thing only works from very, very close range, unfortunately. 
At least if there is another way to make it work, I haven't found it. How do I get up here? This way, I guess. down though. Shit. Get him auto sentry. Do my work for me so I can heal. Yeah, that's what's up. <coughs> that worked out really well. I'm out of ammo now though. Get him, girl! But we gotta do this like twice again or something. the nuke in there fast. I'll get right on that. I don't have any ammo. Okay, there we go. This should work. Open up. Mm. Almost out of ammo again. Great. I gotta run. I don't have enough ammo to fight these guys. I gotta run. Whee. Shit. Oh man, where's ammo? Come on. There's gotta be some somewhere around here. I'm fucked. I hit the I hit the button. Do I get to live? Only one way to find out. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get to. Damn. I don't know what to do if I don't have enough ammo. Maybe this is what people were talking about when they said they don't give you enough ammo. They're talking about this weapon, this mission specifically. Hey look, there's a pistol over here or something. Suppressor, okay, that's something. Get back here. Damn. Oh, 
Let's find more of these guys. We're almost through. These are some pretty fun fights anyway. Make a break for- OH SHIT! Ah, oh, damn it! Damn it! Fuck. All the way back here. Get that nuke in there. Get it that nuke nuke. Some high octane shit right here. Okay. We're finally making progress, I feel like. I'll just leave. Nice. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's not fall this time. Run, just run, just run, just run. Just keep moving. Damn. This is really hard. I guess running past enemies just isn't going to work. Not a ton of room for error when, uh, geez, these are really hard. When these, when all these enemies work together with all the different types, they're really, really hard to beat sometimes. But then the unfortunate part is that, is at that point, like the only way a lot of times to beat them is uh, just to kill every single one of them slowly and methodically, which isn't always super fun. But overall it is. It is fun. Okay, we're doing better now. You can't run past enemies, but you can bypass them. That works in this game pretty well. Got him. Nice. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. 
Aria, you're an awesome, amazing, sweet, kind, beautiful, and lovely woman, and I'm so damn proud of you and everything and still being who you are. Well, thank you so much. You're, I feel very, very similarly about you, though I don't know what you look like or anything like that, but you seem like a very awesome person to me. Also, remind me to DM you the name of a trans streamer you'd probably love. She's got lots of trans members in her community. You can mention her here if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to, it's fine. I look like a very English man. Okay, are you a very English man? Man, I hate that those just fly away when they don't want to fight you. It's so frustrating. There we go. Got rid of one of them. Their name is Astrid the Horror Girl. Okay, that sounds cool. I'll definitely check that out. Astrid's a cool name too. Astrid was the villain in, um, in uh, Knights of the Old Republic too. She was one of the villains. She's a cutie pie like you. Okay, great. Well, even more incentive to watch. Astrid the Horror Girl. You guys heard it here first. Ooh, ooh. That was frightening. It's kind of a boring gameplay style running out and then running back in a corner, but it works. This follows the Halo 2 school of, uh, of game design, which is have a lot of enemies that are really strong. Just constantly shooting at you. One of them will get you, eventually. At least that's the idea, I think. Let's grab this bolt shot. Nice. Let's get him. Bad dog. This they gave me a place to hide. Damn. Guys are tough. There are no slouches. Ugh. Come on. I think he's coming around this way. Nope. They retreat if they think that you're hiding and like laying in ambush. Got him. Yes! Is that everything? I think that was. Ooh! It's done. And yet, still you fail. 
Yeah, and I remember this happening too. And I also remember this is when I figured out that they were at Earth. I wasn't really sure before. Like, I saw a planet that looked kind of Earth-like, but I wasn't 100% sure. The game just doesn't tell you what's going on. This is exactly the moment I left off on. Right here. Let's go, Cortana. Let's get to the core and destroy it, just like you said. Oh, that's frightening. Can't shoot me here. Ugh. But you can throw grenades at me, I guess. Jeez. Having to be very aggressive to get these guys beat. Where now? Okay. It's alright, but you must hurry. Okay, yeah, where do I go then? Oh, this way? Okay. What's this? Light rifle, I could use that. Ooh. Let's get him. Fuck you, Didact! That's my planet! You can't blow it up! Oh, that's not even the gun I had. And now we're walking all different. And the music stopped. You persist too long after your own defeat. Is he talking about the Halo franchise? Is this meta humor? Come then, warrior. Have your resolution. I feel like that shot was used in a lot of marketing for the game, right? So misguided. Humanity's imprisonment is a kindness. Imprisonment? What? He was going to imprison humanity? But he was shooting a big death laser at it. And Cortana's coming out of the bridge? In that case, you won't mind if we return the I'm not gonna drive a warthog out of this place, am I? I'm not doing this for mankind. Oh well. You're not? I definitely thought Cortana was super duper on mankind's side before. Turns out she was doing this for some other reason. I don't know, I guess she's saying that she's doing it for John. But John does it for mankind. I feel like she does it for John and mankind. I don't know, I, I shouldn't be. This is a fucking Halo game. Why am I trying to think so hard about it? Light out this is the bad guy, and I should go kill him. Oh, hey, we learned how to climb at the beginning of the game. <laughs> this is silly. Press F to plant grenade. <laughs> well, I paid you my respects. <laughs> Bye. Bye, villain of the game. Okay. And I gotta blow this thing up too to save Earth, right? Just stand up. There's not even anyone fighting you now. Is he injured? Because they haven't communicated to us that he was injured. Just chuck it like a football. 
Like it's one of the power seats in big team battles in Halo Infinite. Yeah. <laughs> what should I do, guys? Should I use left trick to detonate the left click to detonate the bomb? Cortana. No, this is the bad place, Chief. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. I'm the strangest thing you've seen all day. But if we're here... It Where works. is here? You did it. What is this? Just like you always do. So how do we get out of here? I'm not coming with you this time. I still don't understand what? what's happening. Most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. How did she get him it's off the ship? Done. Where is this place? And how does she, an AI, make I that am happen? Not leaving you here. John. Did the game tell us and I just didn't get it? I've waited so long to do that. It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. This is some like, uh, <laughs> we did. Star Wars prequel level of writing. You're breaking Cortana, my heart, Anakin. Please. Wait. Wait. Welcome home, John. <laughs> I just don't get what any of this even is, like what it means. Is Cortana like dead? She's somewhere else? She like in the pieces of the Didact ship, maybe, or the the mm, whatever the artifact was called. I don't remember what it was called. It had some forerunner name. I don't know. <clears throat> this gonna be one of those cool cutscenes like at the beginning. That'd be dope. I'm down for this, maybe. So he's just floating through space. So what did Cortana do to protect him from the nuclear bomb that was in his hands? Infinity actual. Pelican 9-6, We found him. Why is the frame rate of the video so slow, too? I really hope that Chief just talks to someone right now and just explains the story to us. That'd be really nice. Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At ease, Chief. 
Feels kind of odd for you to call me sir. Beautiful, isn't she? I don't get to see her often enough. I grew up in New Harmony. Attended Corbulo Military Academy. Never saw her in so person until I was an adult, but... I still think of her as home. Don't care. I don't care about this character. You don't talk much, do you? This is just like a super awkward conversation, too. And we're just sitting here watching him. Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. Getting basically I've nothing out of this. This is so weird. Never anything like you're going through. Our duty. I guess my final thoughts on Halo 4 is that it's really fun. The cost. It's a little too long. The story doesn't. It's just kind of just whatever. The worst Halo story are two of things. all the Halo games I've played, but and soldiers aren't machines. I don't know. It's a good excuse for a Halo game, and We're it's really fun for the most part. And there's a level where you get to fly a jet around a space station and blow shit up. That's really awesome. Oh, there's other cool shit that happens in this campaign. But this cutscene is not one of them. <laughs> I've heard from some folks that Spartan Ops is pretty good, so I might once. check that out. About being a machine. A great journey begins with a single step. This is our beginning. Thanks for trusting us. We don't trust you with this universe you love and joining us on this epic adventure. Okay, three, four, three. I think you've misinterpreted this relationship. We don't trust you at all. Like not even a little bit. Like we think that you guys like Halo, and we're grateful for that, and we're grateful that you're making Halo games. But trust is not the word that I would use uh, for how we as a community victory. feel about three, four, three. It is only defeat. I ask why. We are forerunners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under Who's our Who's talking right now? Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms. Where is this coming from? And the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate. Is this the didact talking? Is the didact a forerunner? Receive. So it's like his species forerunner, and his Humanity job stands as the is didact in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. How long have the Forerunners been trying to eliminate humanity? For I thought the Forerunners were gone. Belongs to Forerunners alone. Think of my axe as you will. But so I guess this is the Diadac talking? The Reclamation has already begun. So I guess he was just like a forerunner supremacist. And we are hopeless to stop it. That they, that they imprisoned in some weird space egg for some reason. The only way to kill him is by nuking him? I got a lot of questions about this game. But I'm glad I played it at the end of the day. I'm gonna stop for now. I might come back on with something else, but I'm glad that I played through that and I'm glad that you guys were here with me for it. <laughs> Maybe you guys can answer some of those questions that I have about the game. <laughs> but I love you all. Peace out.